Cisco Secure Cloud Insights, Use Case 3, Cloud Security Posture Management and Reporting. In the previous video, we discussed how query capabilities can be leveraged to detect misconfigurations across multiple integrated environments. In this video, we will extend this capability with Secure Cloud Insights to provide cloud security posture management capabilities within the solution, in addition to reporting on various assets and security risks. So let's go to compliance. So the compliance app that sits on top of the graph asset inventory engine providing reporting in the visualization layer. There's a ton of pre-built industry best practice, security standards and frameworks available that can be used to assess and analyze your environment for compliance. And so we can see an example here. We've got a couple of compliance standards that we've leveraged. We've got some scoring here where we sit, what's fulfilled, where the gap analysis is. And we can go through each one of these to ensure that we're meeting whatever objective that we're trying to achieve. The really cool thing is, is this is happening all behind the scenes. Once we apply this, this is validating the environment and ensuring that we're meeting compliance. And if we're not, it's gonna tell us what we need to do. And so if we look at it, we've got lots of different frameworks available to us, right? AWS Foundation, CIS, you've got Azure with CIS, you've got HIPAA, you've got SOC 2, you've got GDPR, uh, NIST as well. So let's maybe add NIST as an example. We can also create our own framework so you can customize this as well. The three biggest benefits of the compliance app it's time savings for your team when collecting compliance evidence for assessment and audits versus the traditional method of manually collecting and assessing the data. Many different teams are involved. All right, let's jump into the insights dashboard. This will load pre-configured widgets that provide visibility on multiple environment facts and asset statuses mapped to category function and cloud provider. So we have our, our different environments that are added. We can build out a uh, quick visual around things of interest like S3 bucket without secure transport enabled. If this was mandated, we now know we've got 185 buckets of interest. Now on the right here, we can see a relations graph to that non-public S3 bucket exposed via public facing EC2 instance. So we've got a private S3 bucket, but it's being exposed by the instance that is publicly accessible. Now that might be some risk that we might want to deal with here. And we can scroll down and we get some other visuals as well. But we can see here with that secure transfer, there's 185 buckets. We've got some options on the right here with graphs and being able to download the schema for the dashboard and, and also sharing the dashboard with others. We can see the individual repositories of interest, but it's pretty easy to see what might be happening here. And very quickly, we can come in here and start addressing some of our risks. Pretty neat.